After 10 days in the NICU, we were finally told that Landon could come home. A month later, we took him in for a routine checkup and found that he had a severe UTI and we were rushed to the hospital. They put Landon in the PICU and later told us that they didn't think he was gonna make it. When I was six months pregnant with Landon, the doctor realized that something wasn't right and he had us sent to a high-risk pregnancy doctor. The doctor did several ultrasounds and came to us saying that Landon had only one kidney and had probably several chromosomal defects and would likely have several other complications when he was born. Landon's kidney was not functioning properly, so he was rushed into surgery, but Landon pulled through and we got to go home Christmas Eve. Landon was almost four, and we got a call from the doctor saying that his labs came back looking a lot worse. The doctor at that point decided that Landon would need to begin either dialysis or be looking for a transplant. So my husband and I were living in Oklahoma at the time and decided that the best solution for us would be to come back home to Iowa, and we really wanted Landon to get care at the University of Iowa Stead Family Children's Hospital. Our family encouraged us to come up, and um, our aunt is an emergency room nurse and just had nothing but great things to say about the U of I hospital. She said, this is the place you want to come. In April of 2014, actually on Easter, we had to come in that night, get his hemodialysis catheter placed, and start dialysis the next morning. Hemodialysis is basically a process of cleaning your blood when your kidneys can no longer do it. He had to have a port put into his chest, and then he would sit uh, in the chair and they would pull the, pull the blood out, run it through the machine and clean it and then and put it back in. Landon called his dialysis machine the robot machine and they made it so it was fun and kind of like a friend to him. They went ahead and put him on the, on the donor list and uh, we waited for a few months in that and then we got a, a call that there was a, an altruistic donor that had stepped in and, um, and that's someone who just decides to donate uh, an organ just to help someone. And so we were really excited about that and we started making preparations for that and, um, and then and it fell through. At this point, my mom decided to get tested and see if she would be a match. And in November of 2014, Landon was able to, by the help of his grandma, get a new kidney. They both went into surgery that morning. So my mom came out a few hours ahead of him and we were able to go see her and talk with her and realize that she was okay and about two days later, she was able to herself to go see Landon, and when they first saw each other, they hugged and kissed, and it was one of those precious moments where you knew they were both gonna be okay. Now when we're trying to distinguish between grandparents, uh, he affectionately calls her the, the kidney grandma. It's really important to be able to have someone who, who's a specialist in their field where they know what's going on, whether it happens to be the urology team or the nephrology team or the transplant team or whoever we're working with. We find they really work well together. They seem to always be communicating. And to be able to know that we're, we're dealing with people that know what they're talking about. And the nurses and the staff here are so incredible that this is just a wonderful place to come and be. And for a family, we just like to call it home when we're here.